we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Alright, Shalom. This is your brother Yuan. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakah Kadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and who rule well. And I want to say Shalom to all the brothers and, of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth. Alright, in sincerity, may the blessing of election be upon your house. Okay? Now, I'm going to run through some scenarios. Some of you may know, but that. Uh, there was a tornado watch here in Texas yesterday. And, you know, that's one of the clips that was put up. The brother put that link actually in the chat. And um, I said, I'll, I'm going to might as well speak on. It. I'll put it in the uh, the beginning of my lesson today. Let me get this precept really quick. <clears throat> All right. So this is uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter, okay? And we'll start at the sixth verse. It says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. And right now we're hearing the rumors of wars more so than we've ever seen it, okay? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. We know the end is not yet because certain other things have to take place. Certain key prophecies have to be, uh, you know, made manifest the MOTB it's in the it's in the makings it's in the workings the stage for it to be pushed is being set but it's not here yet right so you yeah, a certain particular order in which things have to happen according to biblical prophecy we know that the Lord is not a man that he should lie so it's going to happen in a fashion in which he said it would okay now we're going to verse 7 for nations shall rise against nation we're seeing that and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines all right, famine is getting ready to happen. Those sanctions that your boy Biden put on Russia, they provide, what was it, upwards towards 40% of the world's uh, grain, big portion of the world's wheat, big portion of the world's fertilizer. So now all that, all those, all that food being backed up in, in Ukraine and Russia, you know, the rest of the world is going to suffer, which is going to, and, and on top of that, people are, <laughs> for the first time in recent history, Major nations are saying, hey, we're not going to use the dollar to purchase oil, which is going to completely destabilize and, and drop the dollar down to nothing. So there's going to be a big inflation here. It's going to be a great depression, the greatest depression here in Babylon, the great man. So famine is definitely going to take place and pestilences. That's going to that's going to be turned up to an even further level than what we've seen here as here as of late. And earthquakes in diverse places. And it's going to be all kinds of different crazy weather uh, things happening. Now, when I ran that clip, imagine during this uh, this inflation, we've seen a lot. We see the record number of uh, evictions. A lot of people were displaced. A lot of people are still right now moving around different parts of the country so that they can afford to just live. OK, so as this second wave of turmoil begins to take place here. The, the, the true beginnings of Jacob's trouble. And yes, there will be a Jacob's trouble. Yes, we will have to endure through it. All right, that's why the scriptures say what? He that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. Now, all those, all the play people that are going to be displaced, what are they going to do if a tornado was to just sweep through their town? A tornado was just to sweep through the town or a great big earthquake you know, destroyed your, your grocery store, destroyed, you know, particular farmlands and things like that. There's already going to be a lack of food. Destroyed the water plant, broke some, broke some pipes to where the, the faucets aren't working anymore. People are going to be in straits, man. And we tell you, we were warning you of these things because the only way 
to to that you're going to be able to navigate this time that's coming upon the earth is if you're seeking righteousness, seeking meekness, so that you may be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. The Lord said his servants are going to eat. We know they're going to be taken care of. But there are particular things and there's a particular spirit that you must be in. All these are, this is verse 8, all these are the beginning of sorrows. If you go back to that clip, man, those people were utterly petrified for their lives. In the middle of the clip, <laughs> the dude looks up in the sky. He says, oh, my God, a car. <laughs> Let's watch it one more time. Oh, get inside. Get inside. Run. 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 Oh, my God, a car. Run. 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 All right. All right. Proverbs fifteen sixteen says, "Better is a little with the fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith or turmoil." All right. So better to fear the Lord and not have much here on this side, because if you fear the Lord, you know the righteous isn't going to be forsaken. The Lord's going to bestow great riches upon you. He's going to give you protection. You're going to inherit the kingdom. But somebody who doesn't have fear of the Lord and they have, a, you know, possessions here, it's all going to come to naught. It's going to be destroyed. It's going to be ripped up like that parking lot during the tornado. Ripped up, man. Isaiah 33 and 6, it says what? And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay, the wisdom of the world is foolishness with God. It's not going to get you delivered, man. It's not what you, it shouldn't be your prized possession. Things that you have, a craft that you're pursuing in the world. You know, your business, your reputation in the world, you know, having friends in partnerships with people who don't fear the Lord is not what should be a prized thing to you. What should be a prized thing to you is the wisdom and knowledge of your how about Shimmy how was shot. And to even have beginning to even begin to have access to that, you have to what? You first must fear your how about Shimmy how was shot. So the wisdom and the knowledge is what's gonna keep us stable. And it's going to keep us stable because we're going to be conducting ourselves in a in a in a in a in a manner in a fashion that is less offensive, okay, to our Lord. He knows that we're 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 showing respect. We're looking back. We're considering His instructions. All right. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and the strength of salvation, okay. Because we're showing that respect, because we're regarding the, our Father's instructions. He's going to have a hedge of protection around us from all the turmoil, from the from the from the hopelessness. See, we're prisoners of hope. We we know certain things to be true. We know the Lord's going to do particular things in the earth. There's certain people that are going to be able to evade it. So we hope that we're of that number. But these people don't even know what to hope for. They're hopeless. Okay? The fear of the Lord is his treasure. And that, that's what we hope close and dear to us so because these people don't lack because these people lack the fear of the lord okay the lord's going to force them to be in a fearful spirit but it's going to be too late okay so yeah i i, I thought about that saw the tornado i said man what about what are, what would people do man when in the middle of jacob's trouble when supplies is already scarce when they're, when they're displaced and they, they don't really have a place to go. And something like that happens. Oh. The despair, man. The despair people are going to be in. Lord willing, we're not a, a part of that lot. Okay? So, I um, want to give all praises once more to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushah, Bahashim, Rakakadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to say Shalom to all the brothers. And of course, the few sisters who are pursuing this truth in sincerity. Right? May the blessing of election be upon your house. Shalom.
according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness.